Hey guys, <laughs> I'm getting used to this. Um, so I have a, a much better video to share with you today. I shared something with uh, the book club last night that I really felt like God was pressing me to share with you guys today. Um, as I have been doing this 21 day prayer thing uh, fast from social media and television, not necessarily food, just those are the things that I've been focused on. Um, God has also given me the desire to, um, you know, get back into some kind of training or exercising and stuff. And so I can't go to the gym right now. So I was able to download a, a fitness app for 30 days, the trial and so I started using that and I got into this guy who trains you, helped you train to do the Tough Mudder, and which is a lot of running. Um, I absolutely love running. That has always been something that I just love doing. I prefer outside because I, I just love the outdoors, you know. Um, I love running, I love hiking outside, you know. But because I can't do that right now, um, I'm making accommodations. And so, um, this morning, well actually it started yesterday, I was really thinking about it yesterday. So what you do with this program, it's called a HIT program. I've done this many times before, it's one of the best ways to, um, you know, it's, a, it's one of the best ways to burn um, your, to burn calories really quickly. And, <clears throat> you know, it's really good for endurance. So HIT is a high intensity training. So. But all you basically you uh, walk a minute, run a minute, walk a minute, run a minute, and the level is all based on your own, you know, in, endurance levels. So obviously, I started out really slow um, since I haven't been doing much, you know, over the winter. And um, but as you continue to go, you know, your endurance level is increased. So I've been really excited about my levels changing. But one of the things that really struck me as I was running yesterday, and so today, it, he really pressed me today as I was on it, um, was the difference between the walk and the run. And really made me think about that scripture um, in Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 1, where it says, Therefore, let, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles us and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. And so as I'm running on my treadmill, my door is literally right in front of me, my front door. <laughs> so I think that's kind of what really just made me think because I'm, I'm, I, I focus on the, the light coming through the glass and it just started making me realize like I'm, I'm, you know, and I, I'm, oh, I always pray when I'm running too. I'm just praying in the spirit and just, you know, just asking God for strength and for courage and wisdom and everything. But, um, when you're running, you, you really do have to do that anyway, because you need that strength. You need that endurance. You need to keep going and you need to stay focused on something. And then, then you go into the one minute walk and you recover and you kind of just like oh this is great you know so you can really just kind of soak in and just sing I'm I listen to worship music as I'm doing this and so I just like really can really focus on the songs and I really started thinking this is our walk this is our walk this is our walk with God you know there are times like when we're being crushed when we're being pressed when we're going through these struggles, when we've got to really run and we've got to focus and it's hard, you know, towards the end of that, you know, 30 minute, um, treadmill run, walk, hit, hit, hit thing. It's, it gets really hard at the end and you're just like, you know, oh my gosh, just get me there, you know, but you have, it's, it's always at the very end, you know, that you're, you're just getting to where you're breaking through and you're complete that it's the hardest and yet you know in between those walks are times when 
that's the opportunity to really soak in the worship, the praise, lifting your hands, really receiving every word that's in the song or the, the video or the message or the word of God that you're reading, that you're listening to on audio, whatever it is. Um, and you know, that's when it's the, those slow times. And I said this before in another video when I was sitting up at the lake, I remember, you know, thinking, you know, a, the storm's coming and you know, I'm sitting here at the lake and it's so still and it's so quiet. And yet, you know, I want to be prepared. I want to prepare myself. And it's the same thing with this, like in those quiet times. Yeah. I want to receive all the blessings. I want to be thankful. I want to jump for joy. And I also want to continue to give praise and, and glorify God and, and just, you know, be ready because each one of those one minute recovery times gears you up for the next endurance level time. And it's, it's just crazy. I, it's just so amazing how you can relate those things to our walk. And, um, and the other thing that I thought about, like also at the end, something that I learned in my training days was when you're running, you know, it, when your heart starts to accelerate, um, it's one of the best things that you can do is raise your hands up over your head to slow your heart rate down. Um, sometimes, you know, your heart just gets to be so fast that it's hard to breathe. And so the best thing to do is lift your hands up over your head. Well, what is that? Like raising your hands up, you know, that's just, you know, for me, it was just like, and that's what I do towards the end of the whole thing. By the time I get down to that last one to two minutes of recovery, I'm just like, my hands are up over my head. I'm like, Lord, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. And it's just, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope uh, that encourages you. I hope that you know that you have a cloud of witnesses watching you run your race. And that sin that so easily entangles you does not have to distract you. It doesn't have to keep you from running that race. It doesn't have to keep you from running for the prize, the prize that's set before you. And to just remember at the very end is when you get that breakthrough. And you can lift your hands up and praise Him all day, every day. Your faith is built. Your endurance has increased. You know, um, it's just amazing how good he is. So I just wanted to send that to you and let you know I love you and hope you're having a great day.